She tweaked the high temperatures just a short time ago because it's already what in the mid 80s, Michelle and mid 80s outside our studios here in Providence as we look at our city cam already warming up quickly. 91 is what it feels like with the humidity. It's northwest wind at about six miles an hour. So we're in day two of likely a six or seven day heat wave. It'll be the second of the month. The first one started back on July 4th and lasted for five days. We're talking about the potential here for dangerous heat. The heat index, what it feels like to your body, will be topping 100 degrees. We're not uh, talking that you can't go out and do summertime activities, but you need to just be careful. Use your common sense. Check on your elderly neighbors and relatives. Make sure your pets have a safe place in this heat. Fresh um, bowl of cold water as well to deal with this very hot weather. Relief by late weekend. You gotta wait till Sunday to get changes in the heat and the humidity. Radar is quiet across Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts this morning. Lots of sunshine. It's a warm start, 70s and 80s for the commute into work this morning. And then here's the future cast, 9 o'clock. We are mostly sunny through the daytime. Risk of thunderstorms today, very low. And in fact, I don't have any thunderstorms in the seven day future cast until Thursday. So hot, humid weather for the evening hours. Pretty uncomfortable for sleeping tonight. We'll be in the 80s initially and then dropping into the 70s. 630 tomorrow morning. You may wake up to a little bit of patchy fog and then hot sunshine again. And it will be another quick warm up on Tuesday for temperatures this afternoon. Low to mid 90s, about 94 Central Falls, East Side 92, Lincoln in the low to mid 90s, North Providence around 93, Downtown Providence 93, and we should hit in the low to mid 90s at TF Green Airport, Garden City 93, Barrington around 92 today, and Riverside in the lower 90s. You get a little bit of a benefit here of a west wind, which will keep the East Bay a little bit cooler. That area not under the heat advisory, but even the coastline, you make it up into the upper 80s to near 90 today. So hot even at the south coast. It's not until late in the day we get that sea breeze, and those temperatures will fall into the 80s. 92 Hope Valley, northern Rhode Island. You're in the low to mid 90s as well. Steam heat, the heat index again topping 100 degrees. Burrowville at 92, and then the temperatures for southeastern Massachusetts, low 90s. Fall River and New Bedford, Seekonk at 93. Hot, humid conditions. Hot and sunny at the beach is 87 for the air temperature. Water temperature in the lower 70s. Seven day future cast, low to mid 90s. All this work week, sunshine, hot weather on Wednesday. Temperatures only dropping into the low and mid 70s at night. Thursday will start that better chance of seeing a thunderstorm. Thursday still only put it about a 30% chance and be isolated. However, some of these storms, heat, humidity, front nearby, they could be strong or even severe. Friday's high near 92. Partly sunny skies, chance of a thunderstorm in the afternoon, but it's Saturday where we have our best chance for showers and thunderstorms with a cold front nearing us. You know, with any luck, I think we'll see some showers extend into Saturday night and then on Sunday clearing skies and becoming less humid. The temperature is also a little bit more bearable. It'll be in the mid 80s for highs and get that full.